are 17 years into the 21st century. Is it everything you thought it would be? No! I don't know, it's not something that I had imagined. And lately I've been thinking, well, why did I imagine it would be different, right? But I think it's because I grew up in the 1960s watching that cartoon called The Jetsons. You know, and I thought, you know, it was going to be like that. We were going to have like these, you know, elevated, moving skyways. We were going to have these houses on stilts, you know. We were going to have robots doing everything for us. And of course, who wouldn't want to fly a car? I mean, I'm first on the list. When those things come out, I want them so bad. It's a strange time, though, the 21st century. It's, it's like they say that uh, our world's getting smaller, and I suppose that's true because we're all plugged in and connected to the internet, right? And uh, it is pretty cool that like something could happen on the other side of the world, some event, something happened, right? And we, we learn about it instantly. That's so cool because it used to take months for the story to make it from one side of the world to the other. And now we, we have it in seconds. But at the same time, we're expected to like, read the story or watch the news story and figure out like what's going on with it. We gotta make a judgment about it, right? And you can't make a snap judgment on things like that. I mean you gotta do research, right? And research takes time. You gotta look and compare all the different news stories and see which angle is what. You gotta figure out if the who's telling the truth and who's not. You know, this is a lot of pressure, man. I know sometimes it's just too much. And I just want to unplug. You know? So that's what I'm doing right now. This very moment, I'm unplugged. I'm unplugged, and I'm so digging the moment. And in the moment, I'm with you here in Pittsburgh, downtown Pittsburgh, south side of Pittsburgh. I'm not on my phone, I'm not on Facebook, and I'm not on anything. I'm just right here in the moment. Right? So if you are on the internet, you probably know that I have a musical project called Operation Mind Crime. Right? And if you know that, you probably know that we've released an album called The Key on the Operation Mind Crime, right? And you probably know that we've released a second album called Resurrection under Operation Mind Crime, right? And if you know that, you probably know that we're going to play a song from that new album for you right now, right? And if, if you don't have the new albums, well, there's a lovely lady at the merch booth. That's my daughter, Emily. She'll sell you one. She'll talk your ear off, too. So this song is very special to me. Um, it's about a subject that I've always wanted to write about and I've always been trying to wrap my head about. You know, we I think we can all agree that we are all individuals, right? right? Okay, we're all individuals. We're proud, solid individuals. But really, when you start to think about it, we're kind of stuck inside here, right? We're kind of stuck inside our own body. And we're always trying to get out. We're always trying to insert ourselves into somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Listen, don't even go there. Don't even. I was talking about your head. Get inside somebody's head, right? Anyway, that's what the song's about. Get inside somebody's head. We call it the fight.